Hello, hi, namaste. I welcome all of you to the first amazing session of your favorite YouTube channel, Surya's World of Chemistry. So, we will be starting with the first important topic of organic chemistry, guys, that is general organic chemistry. So, without wasting much of your time, let me quickly start your first session. Here we go. So, we have the first question, guys. Among the following compounds, the strongest base is. He has given few nitrogen containing organic compounds and is asking you to choose which of the following compounds is the strongest base. So, let us see the first compound. I hope you can easily recognize this is the first organic compound called as urea, which has been synthesized by the scientist named Oler. First, let us understand what is a Lewis base. Any compound which can donate an electron pair is considered to be a Lewis base. So, here the lone pair on the nitrogen atom are busy involving in resonance because you have a lone pair pi conjugation. So, do you expect that it will be easy for this nitrogen containing lone pair to actively donate? Definitely not. So, let us move to the second one. Wow! Second one is something different, guys. This compound is called as guanidin. The second compound is called as guanidin. If you go for protonation, actively the H plus sign will be accepted by this nitrogen. Then, what happens? You will get a compound formed something like this. NH2, C, double bond, NH plus with NH2. Then you have this lone pair positive conjugation. This can further involve in resonance. So you will get something like this. positive charge over here and this. This can again further involve in resonance. So, when protonation is done at this nitrogen atom, then you are going to get total three equally contributing resonating structure. If you try to compare both of these resonating structures, which one is stable? Both are equally stable. So, this is something extraordinarily stable, which makes a very strong Lewis base. So, before concluding that second one, let us have a look at the third and the fourth option also. In the third one, we have aniline. The lone pair on the nitrogen atom actively involves in resonance. So, when it actively involves in resonance, the lone pair will not be available. So, it will be a big Lewis base. What about the fourth one? It is an aliphatic amine. Yes. Aliphatic amines are relatively stronger than aromatic amines. But is aliphatic amine more stronger than guanidin? No. Guanidin is one of the strongest nitrogenous base known. So, among the following compounds, we will go for the strongest base as the second one. I hope you have understood the concept, guys. Let's move to the next question. Compare the carbon-carbon bond rotation in the following molecules. There is a carbon-carbon double bond between two rings. Here also we have two rings and there is a carbon-carbon double bond. He is asking you to compare their ability to involve in easy bond shift. In which case the bond shift happens very easily. So for that, suppose if the pi bond is shifted towards this carbon atom, so, this carbon will have a negative charge and this will have a positive charge. So, the negative charge on the ring will give you the formation of a cyclopentadiene. Cyclopentadiene. And here, this will give rise to a 
ट्रोपोलियम कार्बोकेटेनोन ट्रोपोलियम कार्बोकेटेनोन ट्रोपोलियम कार्बोकेटेनोन इज एरोमेटिक साइक्लोपेंटाडाइन इज आल्सो एरोमेटिक सो द बॉन्ड शिफ्ट एनेबल्स ए कंप्लीट एरोमेटिक सिस्टम दिस इज आल्सो एरोमेटिक दिस इज आल्सो एरोमेटिक but in the other case if you see guys do we have the same thing no suppose if the pi bond is shifted towards this carbon you get a negative charge and you get a positive charge if you think they alternatively before that you see with the positive charge it will give you the aromatic character and this will give you an anti aromatic character and ultimately it will be non aromatic it will be highly unstable but in this case alternatively if you take even then you get a negative charge and you get a positive charge here you get an aromatic system again you are getting anti aromatic system either way the bond shift you see you will have the same result so now the answer is very clear students the kind of rotation we expect to have easier in the first combination in compared to the second one so we will go for the first option any questions any doubts if you have any queries of course guys you can always drop a message in the chat box i will be available to comment on it if you have any questions or any doubts okay so let us move to the third question in which delocalization of positive charge is possible yes here you have a real check of the concepts of chemical bonding if your concepts are very strong in chemical bonding students then only you can attend these type of questions normally you think whenever you have positive pi conjugation always it involves in resonance no definitely not whenever nitrogen forms three covalent bonds it is neutral but when nitrogen covalency is four it should always have a positive charge why let us understand that nitrogen in the ground state you have 2s2 2p3 2px1 2py1 2pz1 so the covalency will be 3 but suppose if it is a positive charge if it loses one electron the electron will be lost from 2pz in the first excited state in the first excited state electron from 2s will jump to 2pz so you will have 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz1 so how many covalent bonds can nitrogen form here four covalent bonds now if you think if you can shift the pi bond can it form another covalent bond no nitrogen cannot ex and its covalency beyond 4 and the reason is very simple guys it's all it's already clear nitrogen cannot accommodate one more electron so there is no delocalization of the positive charge second one also the same combination third one yes third one again in the case of oxygen whenever it forms two covalent bonds it will have neutral condition and when it forms three covalent bonds definitely will always have a positive charge so here also covalency is not possible to expand what about the fourth one yes carbon with positive charge whenever you have a positive charge students it should be accommodated with an empty orbital positive pi bond will not involve in conjugation unless there is no empty orbital it is actually an empty orbital pi conjugation guys if that empty orbital is with the positive charge then it is positive pi conjugation of course without the positive charge and you have an empty orbital it can lead to resonance so here you have an empty orbital carbon with positive charge will have three covalent bonds and one orbital will be empty 
so definitely it can participate like with carbon in the ground state if you have 2s2 2p x1 2p y1 2p z0 in the first excited state you will have 2s1 2p x1 2p y1 and 2p z1 where it can have covalency 4 and if it loses one electron guys it will have 2s1 2px1 2py1 and 2pz0 with positive charge so there is an empty orbital when this empty orbital is available definitely it can participate in resonance is the concept clear great let's move to the next one then in which of the following cases lone pair is involved in resonance students i have picked up those questions which are properly concept oriented and where students make mistake and if the concepts are not clear these are the type of the questions where students do commit mistake let us have a brief understanding of this question in which of the following case lone pair is involved in resonance so when do you expect a lone pair to involve in resonance lone pair can involve in resonance only when it is present in it is present in which orbital it is present in p orbital if it is present in p orbital then only it will participate otherwise it won't participate if lone pair is present in hybrid orbital if lone pair is present in hybrid orbital it will never participate these are the two important conditions one should know to before attempting this question whether the particular lone pair can involve in resonance or not apart from this there is another important point students what is it an atom can provide only one of its orbital for resonance beyond this it can't Now let's see the first question guys. Let's see the first one. Let's see the first one. Here the lone pair. Here you see the nitrogen atom already. It has given its p orbital to form pi bond. So where will be the lone pair present? The lone pair will be present in hybrid orbital. The lone pair will be present in hybrid orbital. When the lone pair is present in hybrid orbital, it will not participate in resonance second one here this nitrogen atom is not involved in any kind of pi bond formation so the lone pair will be present in p orbital when the lone pair is present in p orbital it can happily involve in resonance because there is a lone pair pi conjugation so it's asking which of the following cases lone pair is involved in resonance this will be involved in resonance what about the third one can the third one can be a part of resonance where you have the lone pair here the lone pair here the lone pair with respect to the nitrogen atom and the same lone pair and the pi bond here you see students here you have the pi bond and here you have a lone pair so as the nitrogen atom 
already has given its p orbital to be a part of pi bond formation this lone pair will be present in hybrid orbital and moreover there is no conjugation also so definitely this doesn't happen what about d here the lone pair has to be present in p orbital because it is not involving in any kind of pi bond formation definitely it has to involve in resonance what about e this lone pair is not in conjugation so this will not participate but what about the last option students here the lone pair is involving in resonance with the pi bond here also the lone pair is in conjugation with this pi bond this oxygen atom is not having any pi bond so the lone pair will be accommodated in the p orbital when it is accommodated in the p orbital it has to participate so it's a very simple crystal clear concept without having any ambiguity guys clear i hope you have followed this concept still if you have any further questions on this make sure you do drop a message in the chat box i'm ready to reply you guys clear yeah.